right, introducing our first tribute of the evening is evangelist and politician Dr. Julian Wright and recording artist Velvet Force. How we doing, so awards? I said, how we doing, so awards? Amen. All right, well, we have someone special that couldn't be here tonight, but I wanted to send some love to our new mini honoree, Dr. Holly Carter. Here's a word from Devin Frank Devin Franklin. Hey, listen, I am so honored to honor my good friend, uh, Dr. Reverend Dr. Holly Carter. Uh, listen, if y'all don't know, she is the reason that I soar. She is the wind beneath my wings. So I believe she is completely worthy of this honor. Most do not know just how much uh, she has done, uh, not only to further the life of artists and, and musicians and actors and content, but the work of the kingdom. Her faith is the number one thing that's important to her. So Dr. Holly, I just want to say thank you and congratulations. You are completely worthy of this honor. Uh, I'm not the only one that you've helped soar. You've helped so many people soar. And as a matter of fact, you won't know how many until you get to heaven. So I hope this award is just a down payment, on not only on what you've done, but what you're getting ready to do. God bless and congratulations. Thank you, thank you for that awesome video. Well, we have one of the best assignments tonight. We get to acknowledge someone who has paved the way for many gospel and mainstream artists. Yes, you may not know her by name, but I guarantee you know her work. Her catalog is extensive and the way she merges audiences, mirroring music and film is legendary. Well, Miss Velvet said the best. It is with great pleasure because of her illuminated spirit, we welcome a sp special guest who worked closely with her to honor her tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Grammy Award winner, international superstar. Let's say it together. Michelle Williams. Good evening, everybody. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Got off the, oh, nah, this is a faith-based show now. You done whistle now. If you'd have bought some beef for Rue, I might see you. <laughs> I was excited to get off the plane to grab some beef for Rue. But listen, um, Dr. Holly Carter of Releve Entertainment, a premier multi-platform production talent and brand partnership boutique that curates content across all media. Her illustrious career began in television, casting, working on such projects as The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Rock in Living Color, and Martin, ultimately expanding into content creation and brand development. She is a 25-year industry veteran having managed some of the world's most recognized artists, including Usher, Kirk Franklin, Mary Mary, Kiara Sheard, and myself. There is no way, she doesn't know I'm gonna be here tonight, and I probably incited a little beef just to get her off her, you know, to make, you know, so she's gonna be mad at me for that. But there is no way that I could not be here. My podcast that's currently on the iHeartMedia um, platform along with Charlemagne the God, The Black Effect, she did that. My book checking in, she did that. White House performances, she did that. I wanna say she helps to make dreams come true and she's gonna be very humble because along with the help of God, I believe that she is a vessel used by God to help make dreams come true. And I'm thankful for that. She is consistently bringing us high quality. Um, you can, come on, come on, yeah. 
She brings this quality, breathtaking pro programming that engages and creates buzz among national audiences. Here's a montage video that captures some of Dr. Holly Carter's incredible work. Is Dr. Holly in the audience yet? Don't get up yet, don't get up yet, don't get up yet. I met Dr. Holly Carter in like 2010, 12, and she's so saved, y'all. But look what the Lord has done. She's got a bright red lip on tonight. And I don't know how she manages to do it all. She merges faith. She is church of God in Christ. But then she can also be at the Grammys and she is herself wherever she goes. And I truly, truly, truly thank you and honor you for everything that you do. When people pick up the phone, and say, Dr. Holly, I have a dream. I have something that I want to do. I promise y'all. Now, don't y'all rush up to her and say, I want to be at the White House too, but she can get you there. I'm just saying, she can get you there. And so we are just so honored and just thankful. She's got an amazing, amazing new hit TV series out on BET Plus right now called Kingdom Business. From the breakout television franchise, The Preachers of LA, Detroit, and Atlanta, to celebrity real estate. Come on, y'all, bring it up, y'all. Come on. <laughs> Love and listings for VH1, the music competition series, the next big thing on BET, to the movie that became an instant cultural phenomenon, The Clark Sisters, First Lady of Gospel. It's some amazing black women in Hollywood doing their thing. With her producing partners, Queen Latifah, Missy Elliott, and Mary J. Blige, the film was the highest rated original movie of 2020. With over 11 million streams in its debut weekend, she is currently in production on season two of her hit new series, Kingdom Business, for BET Plus, with producing partners, Devon Franklin and Kirk Franklin. Dr. Holly Carter has several highly anticipated celebrity fashion and hair competition genre series in the works for Hulu, ABC, and NBC Universal. We thank God for the tax bracket. We thank God for it all. 
a wife and mother of two, I tell her sometimes, I don't know how you do it. A wife, a mother, she also manages both of her children's successful entrepreneurial fashion and sports endeavors. She is also committed to giving back and empowering others. Since 2009, she has produced the annual Merge Summit, a full weekend featuring over 100 of entertainment's top artists and executives, paying it forward for the education, empowerment of young hopefuls entering the entertainment industry. Driven by her love for her late parents, Reverend Billy and Ruth Watkins, and her passion for the community, she continues the work they started through the outreach ministry, Freedom of Spirit, that has aided the homeless and less fortunate for over 35 years. For these reasons, we salute Dr. Holly Carter with the Luminary Award. Please welcome none other than the legendary Dorinda Clark Cole to honor her in song. Miss Dorinda will be with us shortly. I can't scat like her, so I can't, I'm not gonna try it. So come, come, come. Please help. Please, God. Please help us salute SOAR's Luminary Award honoree, Dr. Holly Carter. Keep the claps going, Rockford. Let's show her how we do it here in the 815-779, some of you. testimony was getting long. <laughs> um, I am so honored. Uh, first of all, I give honor to God. I am Kojic, who is the head of my life, and I just thank him for the gifts that he's given me. Thank you, Michelle Tanichia, for, um, for doing this, for sneaking out here. And She was very quiet the last few days, and I'm like, hello? I ain't heard from you. Okay, I see why. Um, I want to thank the SOAR Awards for considering me, um, you know, in our job as managers or agents or producers. Sometimes you work so hard for other people, uh, and then you kind of forget about, you know, yourself, or sometimes you feel like you have um, maybe been overlooked. But it's so interesting that God always reminds you, I see you. I see you. 
You know, and he's faithful to his word, and I really do appreciate him. I feel like I have been an Esther called into the kingdom for such a time as this. He called me to Hollywood to make a difference because that is where my gifting is. And so where, you know, maybe I won't preach in the pulpit. I'll sing praise and worship, but I probably won't preach in the pulpit. So my preaching is on television. My preaching is, you know, in the films. My preaching is... That's the, that's the seed, the, the, the harvest that the Lord has given me. And so I am uh, honored to serve in that area. But I thank the SOAR Awards. I'm so grateful to my parents who are looking down on me from that great cloud of witnesses. I was sitting there crying with my cousin Renee who has watched me grow up as a child and just wishing my mom and dad was here. Sometimes I get so godly and lovingly jealous of Kiki and her dad and her mom because they're such a great, close-knit family. And I, I, can, I honor his life because I lived with them when we were doing the Sheards. And I saw the kind of father he was and I saw the kind of husband and mom that Karen was. And so to watch that and know that I don't have that anymore. My parents sometimes, it gets hard no matter how old you get. You miss your parents. And so I'm, I thank you, Kiki, for showing me and your parents how love continues. So I, I, I want to thank my team at Releve. I couldn't do what I do without them, Keisha and Angela and Jade and Tiana. I got to thank my husband who looks like Idris Elba. He is very cute. He's not here. My children. And I just, I'm very grateful tonight. I wrote this whole big old thing. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just grateful to work with the artists that I have been able to work with. I'm honored that God has called me to a place that I can be myself. And at the same time, I can pray for those who need it in Hollywood that may never come to church. And I will tell you this as I take my seat. One thing they know, no matter what meeting I'm in, no matter what set I'm on, when it's praise and worship time, I'm gone. Because I got to lead praise and worship at my church, and I got to be in rehearsal for the Christmas play. So God bless you. <laughs> Listen, if I can be excellent in the world, I can be excellent for my church. Amen. I love my church. And I love the church of God in Christ. Hallelujah. Listen, I'll get up here and sing praise and worship for you. So at this time, I am going to, listen, so churchy. What am I doing right now? Oh, Sister Dorinda is coming to sing to me. Ain't that sweet? God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Let me say this to you. If you have a gift, commit that gift to the Lord. Find yourself a team of people that will pray for you, that will pull for you, that will rebuke you when you feel like you're too wonderful. Get a plan, work the plan, and commit your gift to God and watch him do what he promised he'd do. Amen. God bless you. Well, can we just give God some praise for just sitting in the seat? Come on, so many people wish to be where you are right now. But we're so grateful for the SOAR Awards, and we thank Brother Justin what he's doing to bring gospel artists and give them their just due. And not just gospel artists, but all of the artists around the world, he always looks out for us. And it is a blessing. I want to say something about... Uh, Dr. Holly Carter, and um, there's so much that I can say about her, but she is an icon when it comes to the film industry, when it comes to plays, when it comes to um, Lifetime with the Clark sisters. Oh, y'all can do better than that. She was an executive producer. And if it was not for Dr. Carter being in the place that she was in, in Hollywood, we never would have gotten that, that push. We never would have gotten that time to actually have our, our own story shown on Lifetime. 
I said, that's Dr. Holly Carter. Not only that, but I, I look at her, she reminds me so much of my mom. She's a go-getter. She knows what to go after. And not only that, I remember I was in her office and uh, God was ministering to me about her. And I said that one day this young lady is going to be um, really big in the industry. And I spoke that into her life and she said ever since then, God had been opening doors for her. It's just a little, just a little bit of what I know about Dr. Holly Carter. Just as she stood here and she says that she goes to church and she does praise and worship, she really does because I was there when she did it. And this is what I want to say to everybody that is aspiring in the gospel music industry, not just in the gospel music industry, whatever your creativity God has given unto you, make sure you give it to him so that he can expand your borders. Have I got a witness in the house? So I just want to encourage her tonight and let her know that as I look back over my life and I see all the things God's done for me Been through danger, heartache, and trouble I thank the Lord, he's rescued me, oh, I could have been dead and gone, but the Lord, he's made my life, oh yes he did, now I That I'm still here. Have I got a witness? All of us still here after COVID. And it's by the grace. Anybody know it's by 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 the grace of God. Oh, I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no goodness on my own. I'm still here. Oh, yeah. All of his favor, all of his favor is shown. Still here. Oh, yeah. Never would have made it this far unless I've been to disappoint me. Is it anybody in here grateful that God gave you another chance? Extended time. Oh, well. Y'all, I'm still here. It's by the grace. His unmerited favor that gave you and me another chance when we didn't deserve it, though. It's by the grace. I don't know about y'all. But some folk have died with the same sickness you got right now. You ought to lift your hands and say, I'm still here, y'all. Have I got somebody in the balcony that can say, yes, God has been good to me. And every time I look back and see what he done for me, I got to say that I'm still here. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I'm glad I'm still here. God gave me another chance. Yes, he did. Oh, y'all, I'm still here. Yeah, 
celebrate life. Give God a praise. Let everybody know if it had.